Here in this video I want to walk you through how to use a guitar tuner and I want to use this tuner to help you understand more about tuning down like half steps and whole steps. Um, if you watched my first video how to read tablature part one I went into detail about how a lot of different artists tune their songs differently like Metallica they're usually always in standard tuning there, there might be a song or two here and there on an album that's tuned down a half step um, bands like Guns N' Roses for instance always tune down a half step and a lot of the popular music are usually always tuned down to drop detuning now I want to use this tuner to help you understand just what these half steps and tuning down and whole steps and all that are um, first I want to point out that this tuner right here is a Korg model GA30 it's my favorite in the whole wide world doesn't matter what you get all tuners tune to the exact same notes right here you'll notice a microphone now what this means is that you can tune either an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar because over here is the input this is your electric guitar jack and with this model you can even tune bass guitars you see that as I press the guitar bass button that switches over to bass right here now another neat thing I like about this model of tuner is that it has a sound option now this is where the sound is coming out of but you can hear this little tone now the reason this one in particular says 7B is because this is the note of the seventh string on a seven string guitar so let's just press the sound button again and here we have a 6E which is the standard tuning six string, the thick string. Now I'm gonna press the flat button and when I do this you will hear the tone, the pitch drop. Now this is a half step. This is a whole step indicated by these two music notations for flat. This thing right here. So each individual one is a half step, so two is a whole step. This is a step and a half, two whole steps, two and a half steps. And now it will reset to normal tuning. As I keep pressing the sound button, you'll see it go down, go down the strings, and then eventually turn off. Now one thing I'd like to point out right away is that this 440 right here, is important if you own a chromatic tuner. Now on chromatic tuners, um, they're pretty much tuners for any instrument. If you want to tune a guitar or a bass guitar with a chromatic tuner, you need to set the adjustable number to 440. Since this is a guitar bass tuner specifically for guitars and basses, the, this is just preset. You can't adjust this number but you can on chromatic tuners. Now in order to tune a guitar, this is in standard tuning because you don't see any of the flat symbols over here like this. I'm gonna hit my sixth string which is the thickest string on top and you see right here that it is tuned to that middle pointer now due to string vibration variations you'll see that it's ringing kind of both ways of the needle well more flat than sharp so let's tune that up just a little bit okay there we go here's my fifth string Now what I want to point out is that even though a lot of my strings were one might have been vibrating up here just a little bit like maybe up to this first dot right here and some might have been vibrating a little flat down to this dot over here 
with such a small pitch variation, it doesn't matter. Your guitar is still going to sound in tune, so it doesn't have to be perfectly straight green in the exact center. All chords sound the same. So, I mean, you don't need to worry about that. If you're trying to play along with the song, all your strings can ring to the left or right of the very center and you'll still sound exactly in tune with the song. So anyway, now I want to get into detail about tuning down. Guns N' Roses, for example, always tune down a half step. You might be hard pressed to find a song of theirs that's in standard tuning that's not a tuned down a half step. Now you'll notice that my guitar is still in standard tuning. And because I've set the tuner to flat, you can see that on the tuner, it's registering way up here on sharp. Now I want to point out that between standard tuning and the E flat on the sixth string, there is a huge range of pitch. You can hear it as I'm tuning down. So if you want to play the guitar along with the song, it's important you get a tuner because if you're halfway between the sixth flat and the standard E, then you're not going to sound alike with any song. All songs are tuned to either standard or flat. They're not tuned to any anything in between. So it's very important that you get a tuner if you want to play along to any song. Now here's how drop D tuning works. As we can see, we're tuned down a half step on the sixth string. Let me reset this to standard tuning. My A string is still normal. And so here is the 6 string right now. Now on drop D tuning, from standard tuning, you're tuning the 6 string down a whole step. So let's add another half step. And with these two B's right here, that is a whole step. So let's finish tuning down our 6 string. And now let's hit the 6th, 5th, and 4th strings at the same time to hear what drop D tuning sounds like. Let's add a little bit of distortion. That's the way I like it. Okay, so now you understand a little bit about flats and drop D tuning and the different tuning variations and how important it is to either be in standard tuning or tune down a half step or a whole step. Specifically, you don't want to be tuned on any of the ranges in between, otherwise you won't sound alike with any guitar player. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and stay tuned for more videos.